All right, so now that we got the AC working good on both sides of the car, today we're gonna tackle these wheels and we're gonna respray these rims. Three, two, one. I am sweating like a pig. Here's a sock. I just said he and then that I she, but whatever. Well, I do wanna kinda of spruce it up a little, spruce it up a little bit. As you can see, we got quite a bit of paint pill, especially on this back one, man. But uh, what we're going to do is a, we're going to do a quick scuff and spray. And I think what we're going to do is do some gloss black because I have a bunch of that on hand. And uh, I think this will look pretty good. So. Yeah, this room doesn't look too bad. It's got a little bit of curb rash, but uh, of course we could just let this paint go and the, I think the wheel will turn black on its own. But we'll go ahead and just use our red Scotch-Brite here. Use some soap and water. And let's just scuff down the whole rim. And pop out that center cap too. that out all right I'll use our soap water rinse it down real good here yep. all right next part we'll do here in the garage because it's a little windy out so we gotta go ahead and just get some wax and grease remover on this. And wipe her down. So this is uh, just a quick job, quick spray. We're not gonna spend the time stripping the paint and grinding down the curb rash and all that good stuff. We're just doing a quick spray job to make them look a little better. Next thing is I got uh, a bunch of these index cards. These have obviously been used before, but we can use them again. And we just line the rim out with them. All right, what we're gonna use is this Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover High Gloss. I usually, uh, Mask off the valve stem, but since we're doing it black, then I'm not going to worry about it. We'll do a little light coat here, which this can's almost empty anyway. All right, we'll let that dry for a little bit. And while we're waiting for the uh, wheel to dry, I've got some red caliper paint. Let's just go ahead and uh, give it a little spray here. Oops, wrong direction. Really don't care too much about getting it on the uh, rotor because that'll come off first time we hit the brakes. Here we go.
All right. I think just one good coat's all we need on that. All right. I went down and put my mask on, but we're going to do coat number two now. Wait, come on, I have to get a new can. Yep, this can's done. There we go. All right, our third and final coat.
All right, guys, I think this is looking pretty good. What do you guys think of the wheels? That's glossy black. Last thing we need to do is put these center caps back on. But I can't decide. I think I need to make these black too. Leave a comment below what you guys would do. Would you paint these or leave them? I think I'm going to go ahead and paint them. And of course, first thing we got to do, scuff them up a little bit. So we have something for this paint to stick to. And it may go in and paint the bow tie here in the middle after I paint it black. But we'll see how it looks first and then just kind of go from there. Let's go ahead and add another good coat here. All right. And on the next coat, we'll focus more on getting the edges. Okay. side here all right I think that'll work so we're gonna let these sit overnight and then tomorrow we'll uh, put these back on the car and then take a look at the wheels in the sunlight all right it has been a couple days so these center caps should be good and dry go ahead and grab a couple here put them back on the car oh and uh, let me show you what I did the other night well, I got it mostly rubbed off, but uh, I was over at Buddy's house, and uh, it was late and dark when I was leaving, and he lives on a busy road, so I was backing down the driveway, which is also on a hill, and I uh, didn't see a trash can laying off to the side, so I basically brushed up against the side. That'll all buff out right there, but uh, yeah, we put some scratches in the paint, little chips, and I think this will still come off yet, but it, was a lot wor it looked a lot worse. Uh, when it first happened, but, uh, oh, well, things happen, unfortunately. Yeah, let's go ahead and put these on here. There we go. Yeah, I think they look good, just solid black. What do you guys think? I think solid black is the way to go. I thought about maybe painting the uh, center of the bow tie there, like red or something. But I think I'm just going to leave it because I think it looks pretty good. Here we go. We've got the passenger side on. Looking good. Man, this car's dirty. Definitely need to go take this to the car wash. And I got a neighborhood cat that likes to keep crawling all over the top of it at night. About every morning, about 3.30 to 4 in the morning, he's out here walking all over my car. Thankfully, I think he's declawed, so I don't see any uh, paint damage from him uh, crawling all over it, but uh, it is still annoying. But that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, but we are not done yet with the Camaro. In fact, I just got a box in today for the exhaust, and we're going to go ahead and uh, finish this up and... Uh, and that'll be the next video. we we'll put some new exhaust on the Camaro and see if... <laughs> And see if we can tame it down just a little bit, but still keep a nice, aggressive exhaust note. But thanks for tuning in for Casey's Garage, and we'll catch you next time. Peace.